Now, if Earth were the size of a nickel, Neptune would be about as big as a baseball. That's impressive, but it's nothing compared to the giant ninth planet that might be hiding out there. Now, our Planet 9's discovery saga might have finally come to an end. Turns out, the problem wasn't where we were looking, but how. And researchers might have just made the biggest solar system discovery in decades. You see, the idea of finding a planet beyond Neptune has been around for years now. I know, back in school, you probably learned that the ninth planet was Pluto. But forget about Pluto, it's been demoted to a less fancy category since 2006. What I'm talking about is THE Planet 9, a hypothetical giant planet that could be our cosmic neighbor. We've never actually seen it, but scientists are pretty sure it's out there somewhere, hiding in the outer solar system. To explain why they think that, we need a sheet of paper. Hey, here's one! We place a coin on it, and suddenly, it starts to move. Unless we're talking about some kind of superpower, there's no way this coin is moving on its own, right? So, you figure someone must be on the other side, holding a magnet and moving it around. You can't see the magnet, but it explains why the coin is moving. That's kind of what's happening with Planet 9. We can't see it, we can't prove it, yet, but its existence could explain the strange movements we see out there in space. For example, the planets in our solar system orbit on a flat plane that is tilted about 6 degrees relative to the Sun. But why 6 degrees? Well, no one really knows for sure. Some scientists think those orbits might be slightly tilted because of the pull of a ninth planet. Its existence could also explain the unusual paths of smaller objects in the distant Kuiper Belt, a region full of icy debris that stretches far beyond Neptune's orbit. Back in 2016, researchers from Caltech published a study about Planet 9. They suggested it could have a mass about 10 times that of Earth and follow a highly elongated path. It's a scientific way of saying it takes forever to make one trip around the Sun. Because of that, it would be located in the outer solar system. I mean, far, far away. It would orbit the Sun about 20 to 30 times farther out than our most distant planet, Neptune. According to scientists, Planet 9 would take up to 20,000 Earth years to complete just one full orbit around the Sun. Since it's crazy far out there, it's almost impossible to see it. So, as cool as this hypothesis sounds, we've never found solid evidence that Planet 9 actually exists. But we might be pretty close. In May 2025, a team at National Tsinghua University might have made one of the most exciting solar system discoveries ever. Alright, so there's a hypothesis that Planet 9 hasn't been discovered yet because we haven't been using the right method. This new study raises an interesting question. What if Planet 9 actually looks brighter in infrared light than it does in visible light? Let me explain. Scientists have been trying to spot Planet 9 by its reflected light. But here's the problem. To spot it in visible wavelengths, sunlight would have to travel all the way out to Planet 9, bounce off its surface, and then travel all the way back to Earth. If a Neptune-sized planet were about 10 times farther away than Neptune, it would look about 10,000 times fainter. But a planet's own thermal radiation, I mean its heat, only has to make a one-way trip. So in infrared light, Planet 9 would only be about 100 times fainter. That's why it makes more sense to look for it using space-based infrared telescopes. And that's the idea behind this new study. The team started digging through archives, searching for old infrared sky survey data. And they pulled it from two main sources. First, IRIS, a satellite launched in the 80s that scanned the sky for almost a year. Then, the Japanese satellite Akari, another infrared observatory that operated between 2006 and 2011. So basically, they compared objects that showed up in IRA's database and noticed which ones had moved by the time a carry took its observations. And by doing that, the researchers found something incredible – an object that might just be our long-lost ninth planet. Because if something moves, it could be a planet orbiting the Sun, right? And yeah, they did find some celestial objects showing tiny movements. But before jumping to conclusions, they had to rule out the parallax effect. And that's something really important when we're talking about solar system discoveries. To explain it, I need you to do something. 
hold one finger in front of your face. Close one eye, and now switch. Your finger seems to move a tiny bit, right? That's because you're looking at it from a slightly different angle, from one eyeball to the other. The same thing happens when we look out into space from Earth. Since our planet orbits the Sun, our view of very distant objects shifts just a little. That effect is called parallax. My point is, because of this effect, Planet 9 would appear to move across the sky as Earth goes around the Sun. On any given day, it might seem to be in one spot, but six months later, when Earth is on the opposite side of the Sun, it would look like it shifted. Six months after that, it would seem to move back again. Scientists had to account for parallax. Actually, they had to remove its effects. So the team looked at images of the sky taken on the same date every year. Because on that same date, Earth is always in the same spot in its orbit. That means if Planet 9 is real, it would show up in the same place in those images every year. No fake wiggle from parallax, just its real position. This careful search led them to a single object, a tiny dot in the infrared data. This strange little spot had moved slightly along its orbit around the Sun over the 23 years between Iris and Akeri. Wait, could that be it? Did astronomers just confirm a hidden planet? Well, maybe. But don't get too excited. The data we have on its motion over that time is not enough to figure out its full orbit. So, for now, we still can't say for sure if this mysterious object is really Planet 9. It's definitely a strong candidate, though. Based on how bright the object appears, the team estimates it could be pretty massive. And that came as a big surprise. You see, previous NASA research ruled out any Jupiter-sized or Saturn-sized planets hiding out there. But a smaller world would have gone undetected. So the scientists were looking for something just a bit bigger than Earth. But it turns out this mysterious planet might be more massive than Neptune. Now that they've discovered Planet 9, supposedly at least, the plan is to keep tracking it and collecting new data. But don't think the road ahead will be easy. Because since the Akari satellite spotted it for the first time, that object didn't just sit still. It's been moving slowly through space ever since. So now, scientists need to use regular telescopes on Earth to look for it again. And here's the tricky part. They're not exactly sure where it moved to. So they have to search a pretty big patch of the sky. And so far, no matching object has been found. Whether this really turns out to be the Planet 9 discovery or not, only time will tell. For now, its existence is still up for debate. But with powerful new technology on the way, like NASA's Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, astronomers are more determined than ever to uncover the truth. And if Planet 9 really is out there, hiding in the cold, dark edges of our solar system, it's running out of places to hide. Wow, scientists just discovered a deep space fossil. And no, it's not a dinosaur. It's called ammonite a strange, icy object that's been quietly orbiting far beyond Pluto for over 4 billion years. Now, this frozen relic might flip everything we thought we knew about the solar system. And that's because it could be the strongest evidence yet that Planet 9, the mysterious world we've been chasing for years, doesn't exist at all. Now, before we get into it, meet Ammonite, the newest member of our solar system. It isn't a planet. It's not even a dwarf planet like Pluto. You know, something in space that's big enough to be round, but too small to push other objects out of the way. Ammonites even smaller than that. It's believed that its diameter is roughly 40 times the height of Mount Everest. And before you say, wait, that's not small. Remember, in planetary terms, that's basically nothing. Earth, for example, is 30 times larger than that. Anyway, they officially nicknamed it 2023 KQ-14. Inspiring, huh? But people just call it Ammonite. The nickname comes from ancient sea creatures with spiral shells, just like the ones you might find on the beach. But this little space object doesn't actually look like a spiral or anything. The name is inspired by the way it moves. And its orbit is unlike anything else out there. In fact, it suggests that the outer solar system is way more complex and varied than we used to think. There are two big reasons for that. First, Ammonite's been on this path pretty much since the solar system first formed. Yeah, that long. 
and because it's been around since the very beginning, it's considered a space fossil. Okay, no jokes about the narrator. The second reason is its orbit. It's oval and massive, like a huge circle that's been pulled wide. Picture a perfectly round Formula One track. Cars race around it in no time. Now stretch that track into an oval format and make it 432 times longer. Suddenly, each lap feels endless, right? Well, that's kind of what's happening with ammonite. Its orbit is so stretched out that it takes about 4,000 Earth years to make just one trip around the Sun. And that's why it's super far from us. Okay, quick recap. Here's what we know about ammonite so far. 1. It's super distant. 2. It has this weird stretched-out orbit that looks oval. And it's exactly those two things that led scientists to classify it as a sednoid. These space objects are so rare that we only know about three of them. And now, 2023 KQ14 is the fourth. So, sednoids. They are super far away. So far, in fact, that Neptune's gravity hardly affects them. And honestly, they don't make much sense to us because their paths are nothing like the rest of the solar system. Look, here's how Earth, Mars, and the other planets move around the Sun. Their paths aren't perfect circles, but their orbits are almost round. Alright, let's zoom out. More. More. More more. Stop. Now this is how sednoids move. See how their paths look totally different from the rest of the solar system? They seem more random and are shaped like squashed circles. Sednoids are also super cool. And I mean literally cool, as in freezing cold, since they're so far from the sun. But also cool as in mysterious and awesome, because they might be hiding clues about the existence of Planet 9. So you've probably heard about this theory, right? Many experts seriously believe there could be a hidden ninth planet out at the edge of our solar system. In theory, it's this dark gas or ice giant somewhere between 5 and 10 times the mass of Earth. It's believed to orbit the Sun on a highly stretched-out path that's totally out of sync with the rest of the planets. But we've never actually seen it or proven it. Experts just think it's out there because it would explain a bunch of weird stuff happening way out on the edges of the solar system, like the wild, tilted orbits of sednoids. In other words, those bizarre paths might be caused by the gravitational pull of this so-called unseen Planet 9. Now, here's the thing about ammonite. Its orbit is different from its cosmic cousins. Let's take a look. These are the orbits of the other three sednoids we know about. See how they all sort of cluster in the same general region of space? Like they're all being pulled in roughly the same direction? This suggests that something unusual happened way back in the early days of the solar system. And that pattern is a big part of what made scientists suspect the existence of Planet 9 in the first place. I mean, there's got to be something out there influencing their paths. But things get even weirder when we look at Ammonite's orbit, because its path doesn't line up at all with the other three sednoids. In fact, it's actually pointing in the opposite direction. And that might mean just one thing. We might have to say goodbye to Planet 9 for good. Or maybe we've just discovered that it's actually a ghost planet. You know, like the ghost of someone who once lived on Earth but isn't here anymore? Somehow, traces of them still linger, like in a haunted house where something keeps moving stuff around in the kitchen cabinet. Well, Planet 9 might be just like that, not only in space. It might have existed a long, long time ago. But at some point, for reasons we don't fully understand, it vanished. Maybe it even got kicked out of the solar system. But its old gravitational pull could still be with us, hunting ammonite, giving it a little push. But now, we can't see it anymore. Of course, there's still a chance that its strange orbit is caused by something entirely different. Some believe it might be the result of an interaction with a rogue planet. And by that, I mean a planet-sized object that doesn't orbit a star. Or the influence might even come from stars that passed by a long time ago, back when the Sun was still young. But let's be honest, no other theory is as intriguing as the existence of a massive hidden planet. Big question, could Planet 9 still exist after this discovery? Well, yeah.
But it would have to be much farther out than scientists originally predicted. Because even though people believe it might be the fifth largest planet in the solar system, there's still a massive area out there where it could be hiding. Before, scientists thought Planet 9 was about 400 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. It's also around 13 times farther out than Neptune. If we launched a spacecraft today to go find it, it would probably take somewhere between 45 and 75 years to get there. And now, with the ammonite theory coming to light, that distance might be even greater. We just don't know how much farther it could be, because, like I said, Planet 9 is still just a theory. It's more of a cool space legend at this point. But ammonite is completely different. It's real. And it goes far beyond simply adding one more distant object to our planetary neighborhood. It's helping astronomers piece together what the early solar system might have looked like. Studying the evolution of its orbit and its physical characteristics is the key to getting closer to the truth. Because the reality is, there's still so much we haven't explored. Spacecraft have only reached a tiny fraction of what's out there. Most of the outer regions remain completely unexplored. Thankfully, we have tools like the Subaru telescope, the same one that spotted ammonite. According to experts, it's one of the few telescopes on Earth capable of finding objects this remote. So now, we just have to hope more discoveries like this keep coming. And if we've just found ammonite, what else could be hiding out there in the dark, waiting for us to find it? Any guesses? That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if